Oxy acids are when you have the hydrogen ion and an oxy anion. So you're going to need to recognize um, something like ClO4, which is called perchlorate, or NO3, which is nitrate, carbonate, sulfate, and many other polyatomic ions. Um, that are what are called oxy anions. Uh, for example, you have a big sheet that has a list of the common uh, polyatomic ions. Um, and the periodic table at this point is not going to be helpful for oxy acids. You're going to take the name and you're going to change that oxy anion name by having eight turn into ick and ite turn into us. So, for example, if you have nitrate, um, that ion, when it turns into an oxy acid, will turn into nitric uh, acid. You also still need to balance the charge by adding more or less hydrogen so that the net charge is zero and that again is using those subscripts in the formula. So here are some examples that I have. Um, these are just some common oxy anions. So perchlorate, chlorate, chlorite. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the formula on this side and the name of the acid on the other. So for something like perchlorate you're going to add a hydrogen ion because that will be what makes it an acid. And since the one plus of the hydrogen ion equals the one minus of the perchlorate ion, you'll end up just putting the formula as HClO4. Naming it, again, you'll go back and remember that eight turns into ick. So I had a student who had said one time, if I ate more, I'd feel sick. And that's how he remembered it. So perchlorate would turn into, you'd take this and you turn it into ick, and then you'd add the word acid. So perchlor ick acid is the name of HClO4. So if you have the chlorate ion instead of perchlorate, you'd still turn that into ick, and you'd still add a hydrogen ion. And again, because it's a one plus and a one minus, um, the formula would be HClO3, and then the name of it would just be chloric acid. Sounds a lot like hydrochloric acid, but that would be when you have the ion chloride and not chlorate. The next one is chlorite. If you have the ending ite for your oxy anion, ites turn into us. So what you're going to do is have that ending change. You also, to make it an acid, have to add the hydrogen ion. So the name this time will be called chlorus acid. And then its symbol will be, or the formula symbols will be HClO2. The last chlorine containing oxygen anion here is going to be the hypochlorite ion. And again, to make it an acid, you have to add the hydrogen ion. Um, so you're going to end up having hypo chlor us acid and it's going to be HClO. One more time, the ites turn into us. So you'll follow the same pattern with the rest of these. The only thing that's unique is sulfate, sulfite, phosphate, and phosphite. The name changes just a little bit because of the fact that um, to make it sound Better, you'll put some of the element name back into it. So let's do nitrate and nitrite. Eights turn into ite, so it'll be nitric acid. And again, you'll want to add a hydrogen ion, which um, for nitrate, it's one minus. So that would mean you need only one hydrogen ion. Same thing for nitrite, you're only going to need one hydrogen ion, except for it's going to be called nitrous acid because again, the ite turns into us and eight turns into ick. And then this is HNO2. The next um, ions, we're going to need more than one hydrogen ion to balance the charge. So in this case, we're gonna need two hydrogen ions to balance that sulfate's two minus charge. So when we write the formula, it's going to be H2 using a subscript to denote the two hydrogen ions and then SO4. And then the name is unique because you're going to say sulfur and again the ite turns into ick, but to make it sound better, you'll put the UR back in there and then the word acid. So if you were just to change this to ick, it would be called sulfic acid. So a lot of chemists will put that, um, those two letters back in. Same thing here, you'll call this one sulf 
your us acid. So the it turns into us. Same issue here, we're gonna need two hydrogen ions to balance that sulfites charge. And the formula would be H2SO3. I'm gonna pause for a second, just in case you wanna just pause the video and try these two on your own. Remembering the rules. So again, eight turns into ick, it turns into us. These are even more um, necessary for hydrogen ions because they have a three minus charge. So both of these are gonna need three hydrogen ions to balance it. I'm just gonna kind of block this off so you can see that this would be together. And so in the formula, you'll have to have H3PO4, and then this will be called phos Four, and you'll add the OR back in, ic acid, common ingredient in soda. Um, so again, if you just keep this, it'd be called phosphic acid. So many chemists will add those two letters back in. Same is true for this one, it'd be phos for us acid. And again, needing three hydrogen ions to balance the phosphites three minus charge. And that's how you name oxy acids. Yeah.